Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Everything and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. And in today's What's in the Box we're going to be looking at the Flames of War Mobile Wagon Platoon. Should be coming with four vehicles. Now Flames of War is a game, World War II game, made by a company... Battlefront, uh, and they produce a bunch of models and miniatures in 1 100 scale, which is 15 millimeter. In this box, we're going to be getting four mobile wagons and a unit card. Now, this box is very heavy. This box probably a good two pounds I'm not sure but it's pretty heavy uh, so I suspect it's going to be resin and metal from what I heard through the grapevine I do believe that this box set is slowly starting to get discontinued so uh, get it while the getting's hot also uh, or, or wait until they come out with the plastic sets uh, let's go ahead and see what we get inside Okay, first of all, we can see it's got a blister with foam on the inside, and I can already see resin pieces. Okay, we'll put the box out of the way there. And there's the card. Okay. guess there's no real need to take the card out of the plastic because there's only one of them. Uh, you get the... Double A tank platoon mobile wagon with its 24 inch range on its 37 millimeter. Uh, you can get either two, three, or four mobile wagons for five, eight, or ten points. Use full rate of fire when firing on aircraft. Okay, interesting. Put that off, off to the side. All right, what do we get right there? I don't know what that is. But then again, another thing, I'm kind of just looking to see if I see any paper um, for assembly. Or do I have to go to the website? Which, they have assembly guides for all their vehicles on the Flames of War website. Alright, let's take a look on the inside here. Uh, I did want to point out, it does say, go to flamesofwar.com slash products, enter the product code, select the first product that matches your code, click the spotlight button for an assembly guide so yeah they've got all the assembly guides online okay so they got some foam in here just to keep everything tight and from moving around uh, it looks like we got four resin bodies uh, now if you've never been to any of these what's in the boxes what we try to do is take an overview of what you get in a box and then we take some time to zoom in and actually look at the details on these models okay okay so I went ahead and broke everything out so you can kind of see what's going on uh, okay so we get four resin holes and these holes each have one slot on the side on both sides uh, you know tools and yeah it looks like your standard M4 hull Looks like we got a firing mechanism. We've got the guns, right? There's two sides to the firing mechanism. There's the gun. Uh, this should go down inside that hole there so it could pivot. You got the 37 millimeter gun. You got three crew. It looks like one of them is seated. One of them has got a shell in his hand or maybe a magazine. 
Yep, a magazine, a clip, and then the observer, right? And then we've got these extra additional plates. A lot of these might be uh, dirt flaps or what have you on the, the, the vehicle. You got a gun shield, which comes in two parts. You got your left and right uh, as part of the gun shield. And that would have to be glued together to make a solid gun shield. And then you got the side flaps. There should be four per vehicle. Uh, two big ones and two little ones per vehicle. Yep, there's your two big ones per vehicle and then two little ones per vehicle. There we go. And uh, those can be placed in the up position or the down position. Uh, this box does not include any decals. Uh, these are extra clips. Okay. So we're not going to look at every single piece, but we'll, we're going to take a look at each piece. So like I'll pull up one of these guys, I'll show you one of these guys, one of those guys, because they're all identical. And then as we do that, we'll uh, put everything away. Okay, one thing I do want to say that I'm sure that when the plastic ones come out, they're probably going to have a two or a three notch track and this and their holes are going to have two and three so you so you don't put the wrong track on the wrong side so just be aware that when you're putting these tracks on that there is a tractor wheel and just a guide wheel so with that tractor wheel always goes to the front so and then you would just line up the slot and it's going to go on there you know it's going to go on perfect. But what I'm trying to say is you're going to have to be aware of the left and right. Okay, see. And see. Just making sure. Now it looks like the right side's got a uh, a breaker bar here, and it looks like it's got a light, so it might be easier to identify which one goes on which side. Yep, absolutely. If it's got the light, it's going on the left side. Okay, but yeah, they broke them up really good. All right, let me go ahead and change the focus, and we'll take a look at these up close. All right, let's take a look at these holes. <clears throat> we've got <clears throat> we got the tools on this side. There's that groove that I was talking about. Uh, with any bit of resin, <clears throat> with any bit of resin, you're always going to have a little bit of work that you've got to do um, sanding or filing. But this looks really good. The Battlefront guys usually do really good on their Flames of War models. Okay, so that's that's the resin hull. Now let's look at one of these tracks. Okay, you got quite a bit of detail in there. It is metal, so you're gonna have some you're gonna have some mold lines, a little bit of cleaning. Uh, this definitely has a mold release powder on it. You would need to wash that off with soap and water before you go ahead and glue these assemblies together and then start to paint them. Okay. And this is the other side. You can see it's definitely got a line there. Nothing a little exacto slash file work won't get rid of. Yeah. Oh, wait, what is this? Is that an R for right? Okay. Is there an L 
for left, I wasn't really paying attention. There is. Okay, right and left, nice. Okay, now these are the two halves of the gun shield. Okay. And these would... Looks like they would glue in together. It looks like there's a little slot there for them to glue together. Um, I don't think they're supposed to be touching. They're supposed to be wide enough for the gun itself to go through. I think this is for sighting. Or targeting and things like that. Okay. Uh, not a whole lot of detail on these. At first I thought this was just an extra piece of sprue. And I was about to throw it away. But no, it's part of the gun shield. The traversing and elevation mechanism uh, I know it's kind of small but you got a little nub there that goes down inside the resin hull so it can spin uh, and then on this bigger piece uh, you can see these boxes I do believe that is actually a weighted box Uh, how these two go together okay, I have a feeling I don't know I'll have to look at the instructions but there is a groove on this and there are there are grooves on that and that probably sits down in there because if you look on the inside it's got a indent and that's probably where the gun goes I'd have to take a look at the instructions to see but we get a pair, a pair, a pair, and a pair. So you get four pairs. One for every vehicle. That's good. The gun itself has like a little piece of the gun shield right there on the inside of the gun shield, most likely. Maybe it's on the outside. Yeah, inside of the gun shield. So when it elevates, and that's pin that probably goes in that little hole that we were just looking at I'm doing a lot of guesswork here all right let's take a look at this each of these three crew members you get four of each so uh, one for each vehicle Here's the guy, he's got a clip in his hand, you can see. What is that, an eight round clip, seven round? I don't know. And then here's a driver, or I'm not a driver, maybe a gunner or something. He's probably sitting on the gun itself. Uh, he's its foot as a big sprue piece that needs to be cut off but uh, yeah part of the chair it's part of his mold it looks like nope let's flash Okay. And then here's one of the large pieces for the sides. They have these hinges where you can hinge it up or down. Those eight all look like they're the same. Now the smaller sides, 
they look they've got a different piece on them one of them's got like this little porthole there doesn't go through uh one one side has that and the other side does not so just put one and you get four with the little portholes so just put those on one vehicle each and then put the one without on the other vehicles all right guys well that was the mobile wagon platoon that's available um this is the metal set, metal and resin set um late war german uh it's it's basically an m4 with side panels that fold down to reveal the gun uh, you do not get any decals with this uh, and it shows based on the on this picture i'm seeing like one guy gunning and one guy spotting but i don't see the guy that's loading and i don't see him on any of these pictures so what i would probably do is put the gunner on every one of them except for maybe the ones where they're up if it's down ready to fire i would put the gunner in but if it's up like that i guess they can fire with the up position as well it's just i don't know and then i would you got three crew members i would alternate like pairs so that no two vehicles would be the same that's the way i would do it all right, guys. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one.